If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Gatling series. In this episode, we are going to learn about scenario in Gatling. You can create a new scenario using the scenario wrapper. You can name your scenario anything except slash t, which is stabilization. And you have to attach the elements to your scenario. Gatling supports execute, pause, loop, conditional statements, error handling, groups. So these are the elements where you can attach it to the scenario. Now let us see how you can add the elements to the scenario. So in this example, we have HTTP protocol builder, which is nothing but the, the base URL configuration and other HTTP configuration. So here we are simply configuring the base URL as online boutique.dev. And using the scenario builder, we are creating an object called my scenario. And we are naming our scenario as online boutique homepage. And we are attaching the dot execute method to the scenario using the dot exec. And we are naming the HTTP request as t00 underscore home. And we are launching the home page. So this is one of the method where we create the scenario and immediately attach using the dot execute method. Now we are going to attach multiple methods to the scenario. So again, we are creating a new object called multiple requests here. And we are naming the scenario as multiple requests. And we are attaching three methods, dot execute, which will launch the product and dot execute again, which will launch the checkout. And we are pausing for three seconds. So this is the multiple methods attaching. Next, the third method is using the chain builder. So here we are creating something called composable request, basically some kind of a module approach where we are using the chain builder and we are creating a, an object contact and immediately we are executing the contact and we are launching the slash contact and we are pausing for three seconds. And again, we are creating a chain builder where we are launching the continue shopping and pausing for three seconds. And to attach the chain builder, contact and continue shopping, we are creating a scenario builder again. The new object is contact and continue scenario. And we are naming this as contact and continue shopping. And we are executing the contact, which is nothing but this one. And continue shopping, which is nothing but this one. So there are three ways where you can attach the elements to the scenario. Now let us see a quick demo in action. So as I mentioned here, this is my simple scenario where we are configuring the online boutique.dev as the base URL. On line number 14, we are creating a new scenario using the scenario builder. And we are naming the scenario as online boutique homepage and we are executing the t00 underscore home. So this is the very simple method where you can create the scenario and attach your methods. And if you want to attach multiple methods, you can just add the methods uh, sequentially and then it will execute as per the order. The third method is composable request where you can create your transactions, you can create uh, and group like a module and then you can have it under the chain builder. So here we are creating two chain. One is the contact which will execute the contact and pass and again continue shopping which is another chain builder and we are creating the uh, continue shopping transaction and we are pausing for three seconds and we are adding the contact and continue shopping in the scenario builder. And in the setup here, we have three different uh, kind of uh, uh, injection. So one is the my scenario, the first one, and multiple requests, and contact and continue scenario. Now to execute, we have to use the uh, Gradle W Gatling run hyphen scenario dot scenario demo. So if you execute this particular uh, class, it will uh, execute your scenario sequentially, and then it will display the details in the HTML report. Okay, now the execution is complete. Now let us launch the index.html in our favorite browser. And here you can see the global information. And if you scroll down, you can see the statistics for each uh, transaction. And if you scroll down, you can see the response time distribution, active users, etc. And you can see the uh, wheel here, the beautiful wheel. And if you go to details, again, if you expand here, you can see the contact, product, home, checkout, continue shopping. So totally we have five different requests. Of course, a couple of requests are simply made up. It will fail as expected. But this is how you create the uh, scenarios in Gatling so that you can have your uh, methods attached to it and then you can design your workload model as per the requirement. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.
If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.